Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about some more Twitter posts that have came from Brittany recently. And also, Andy's ex-wife has spilled more tea to me. So as I talked about my video yesterday, Brittany has been clapping back at a lot of people on Twitter. And one person was dragging her, calling her a user. And she commented back with a picture of her and Andy and said they're doing better than ever. And someone said by the name of Shibuti on Twitter, they said, why was his ex-wife spilling tea to a YouTuber slash blogger? And I'm assuming they're talking about me. And she said, I know. It threw me for a loop when I found out about her. I hope she can move on now that they're divorced and stop making up ish to spread bitterness around. Andy has made changes to better his life and this is the end of a bad chapter in our lives. And this is another comment where she said, do you remember the things that were happening at the time? Do you know what I was dealing with about his wife? The fact that he got mad and he tried to call the police in Alabama to get me arrested, which we're going to get more into that in a minute. And she said, do you know that? No, because you only see a piece of the story. Whatever makes the entertainment more appealing for the public. I've got past all the beat yes and so has he but a lot was thrown at me right out the gate and it is what it is i am with my kids and him and we are doing okay now and then she posted pictures where she went out to eat with andy and someone said did you at least buy andy dinner with that 500 dollars he gave you which Brittany responded the 500 dollars was the show money it was from the love during lockup and no i put it on my kids we both did together and then Brittany claims that Andy did attend her kid's birthday party at the beginning of the season when he drove her like over two, three hours. And then when they got there, he gave her a cake that he made one of the kids. And then she's like, oh, you and your son got to sit outside for two hours. Well, she said, Britt slash Andy. In fact, Andy and I are together. He did end up coming into the birthday. They just couldn't film, so we couldn't show it for the cameras. My underage children couldn't be filmed, but anyways, I'm not hi I have all my children and we're doing great so remember when I revealed that Brittany ended up leaving Andy for about a month and ran back to her ex and he got sick of her kicked her to the curb and she went running back to Andy well him and Brittany her ex started dating on August 24th and they were in a relationship for a little over a month but then on September 19th that's when she decided to go running back to Andy which she only did after she had no other choice because her ex ended up kicking into the curb allegedly. So Andy started talking to his former wife that he cheated on with Brittany after Brittany left him for about a month and they went out like on a few dates. He took her out of the beach and he was dragging the hell out of Brittany. So, so in my video yesterday, I brought up the fact that she was promoting online gambling, which he dragged Andy for. And the ex-wife said that her Facebook info has a gambling post where she left a comment about their page and he's been doing it and he made a comment when she left him and said let's see her try to get her online gambling money from the app and when she calls me to help I'm gonna say nope then I asked what was going on with the children's fathers and she said her baby daddy not on drugs they were reported by DFS and they don't have the children because they were nasty and the kids were raising themselves because him and his girlfriend had different work shifts and the kids did whatever in the hell they wanted to do. And then I asked, okay, are these scenes that we're seeing on the show, do you feel like this is really Andy and these scenes are real? And she said the scenes are very real and Andy even told her that herself. So and Brittany can stop with all the, this show was fake, I'm doing good. But because if that is the case, then why did Andy have to take a urine test to you not too long ago just so the kids could move in with you because you couldn't go three full days without using to pass a drug test? So Brittany on the show claims she has four children on Twitter. She's telling people she has four children. But according to the ex, Andy told her that Brittany actually has five children. So she said that Andy said that she has five kids. She gave up the first one when she was 15. And that's the kid's birthday party that they went to on the day of her release. And Gracie's in college. And Andy said that Brittany's mean to her. And the other three are under 16. And she's not positive that they all live with her full time. She knows that they stay with her every now and then. But she's not sure if it's just like temporarily on the weekends or seven days out of the week. But the dad has a DFS case. So he's not allowed to have the children live with him. 
And he also told his ex-wife that Britney's youngest child, who's a boy, stole $350 from his debit card. And he said that he thinks he spent on video games. And he said the boy had been stealing from his daddy, too. Which, that doesn't shock me since Britney is his mother and he probably grew up watching her do stuff like that. So, I was also told that the last episode of Love After Lockup was filmed just before she came back after she left for her ex for a month. And he ended up telling his ex-wife that they both ended up airing each other's dirty laundry. So we will see her leave him for her ex and I'm not sure if we're going to end up seeing her ex this season and we're not going to see them getting back together before the end of the season. I think they're going to probably try to make it look like that they're not back together since it's before she came back and Andy... He did a lot when she ran off with that dude for a month because according to the ex-wife, and I got the messages to prove it, which we're going to get into in a second, but Andy ended up calling the police when Brittany left and he told the police her plate number, what car she drives, where she was at, and the name of her boyfriend and said she does drugs, she deals drugs, and so is her boyfriend, and they stay in this area, they hang around this area, and spilled all the beans, and that's not all. He also contacted Child Protective Services, which I'm not sure if they ended up doing anything because last I saw, Brittany's still with her kids, but, you know, that could always be something in the future that happens as a result of that. So now I want to share some more receipts I got from Andy's former wife. So shout out to her. A conversation she had with Brittany. So first, this is a conversation that she had when Brittany had left and she was actually with Andy at the beach. And she said, I just replied to your unsent message. And she's, she said, I'm at the beach. She said, I'll talk to you later. So at that time, when Brittany was reaching out to her, Andy's second wife was actually with him at the beach because Andy had went running to her after he was upset after Brittany left him. So then Andy's second wife ended up sending Brittany her phone number. She's like, if you ever need anything, hit me up. And she said, stay safe. You know who's been up to no good on your behalf? And Brittany said, who? She said, you know who? And Brittany says, please tell me. I'm sure it will not surprise me. Then Andy's second wife said, he told me you visited him yesterday. And she said, yes, I did. I'm sober and I apologize for the mean things I said that were not needed. Are y'all working things out? And she said, we've been hanging out, but we ain't getting back together. He lies too much. I'm proud of you for getting sober. He don't deserve an apology. He called the police where you were living and told them your name and what you drive and he told them y'all were dealing meth. And Brittany said, thank you, it's really been a mess. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. And she said, that ain't all he's done. And Brittany said, oh wow, did he call DFCS? And she said, yes. And then Brittany said, I knew it. He wanted to go get the kids with me, but I'm not even sure I should now. And then... I'm going to call her Mindy. I'm tired of calling her Andy's second wife. Mindy's her real name. So Mindy said, he cannot be trusted, I'm telling you. And Brittany responded, I love my baby so much and it just blows my mind he would do this to them. And Mindy responded, it blew my mind he'd cheat on me. He's sneaky as F. And then Brittany said, I agree. I got to get my things so if you can distract him so I can gather my stuff. And then she said, yeah, I see. And then Mindy was like, he has me blocked. And so Brittany said, I'm so over this girl. I just want to be with my kids and it's killing me. Then Mindy said, he told the show you left prison with drugs and he told everybody else too. And Brittany responds, she said, I've never done drugs until he kept lying about the situation with you. And he started acting like I was the one being sneaky. And then... Uh, Mindy said he's told me a lot more than that and Brittany said he kept all the money from the show except $1,500 and I had to take him to small claims court but the show is helping me make a case so I'll get my cut and then Mindy said when you messaged me at the beach he was there laughing at you I hope you get your money from him he's trying to get workman's comp settlement and it's going south fast I'm divorcing him soon. I'm seeing somebody. And Brittany says, I'm going to get it because he made verbal agreements on camera. Then she said, you deserve to have a man to love you like you love. And Mindy said, so do you. And Brittany said, I'm going to try girls. I have no luck with guys. And then Brittany said, I'm so broken and it's so easy for people to see it. I got to get my head back into life. And then Mindy said, Andy looks for women like us. And Brittany said, that's so sad. And Mindy said, he thought he knew me because he grew up with my ex-husband who was on drugs. 
Then Brittany said, oh, wow, I really am so sorry I'm in the middle of this. I had no idea about you, I promise. I would never do this to a woman on purpose because I know the pain she feels. And then she said, good, I got to get my stuff together, talk to you later. And then Mindy said, you know, you're always welcome to join the I Hate Andy Club, which Brittany responded, already a member, LOL. And then this is when I said that, Mindy was still getting mail from other inmates to her house and then she ended up sending this to Brittany and Brittany said he says he doesn't know who this is. Do you have a pic of the envelope? And I crossed out the girl's address because I'm not trying to dox her full address but it has her inmate ID number, the name of the prison so she's at. So many things that Andy's wife has said in the past a lot of these receipts back up what she has said. So that's it for this video guys. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below also I've had several people ask me how to reach out to me if you have some tea you want to spill for a video you got some receipts you can reach out to me at my email amberkeltner at gmail.com and I have all that information in the description but please only reach out to me if it's for video related purposes or business because I just try to keep my email for business only and I don't want something like a personal message to make me miss out on something important in my email that is business related. If you do want to reach out to me on Instagram, you can also reach out to me on there if you try to get a hold of me for like just, hey, what's up, how you doing? That's the place to do it. But you can also send tea that way. But I recommend the best way to do it is email. But check out my lashes, cosmetics at coronamber.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.